Tonight, Southwest Conference rivals meeting once again here in Austin, Texas. First matchup between Arkansas and Texas in Austin since the 2005 region. Reed starting the ball game. Casey Martin was a freshman All-American last season. First pitch sends it to Duke Ellis out in center field. Hit and walk four. You still haven't gotten an out. And now there you... is out number three to take shot. So three up, three down. First start for Jack Neely. He's a good left-hander here tonight is Texas. Patrick Wicklander. See the freshman out of San Jose, California. Fastball slider changeup, very polished. Wicklander, freshman from California. Kibler down on strikes. Wicklander trying to punch out the side. This one put in play. Nesbitt comes up throwing, and it's three up, three down for both youngsters on the mound. College World Series before taking the job at Arkansas and says that's the only place he would have left for. This one is planted to right field. Fletcher can run, and he's in with the double. So first base hit of the evening. He just muscled that ball out. They do have the power, just not what they're used to. Hit on the button to Ford, sliding play over to first. And that moves up Fletcher to third base with one out. One, two from Neely. Grounded Ford. We'll go to first base. Neely was over there, and Shaw drops the ball. There was confusion between Neely and Shaw in terms of who was covering the bag. Arkansas on the board, and still only one out. Down low on the first walk of the evening, issued by Jack Neely. He's making changes quickly, and it is back-to-back -back walks with one out for Christian Franklin. Pops it up. Eric Kennedy going back to the warning track. This should be deep enough, and it's gone! A grand slam! That ball kept going. It just kept drifting and couldn't catch up to it. Stitch it on it right there and get that underneath rotation. Looking fastball. You would think with the trajectory off the bat, I, I was like, there's no way this ball has a chance, but it did. It just kept going. Kennedy's got a beat on it. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it, and he just drifts out of the ballpark. Back-to-back -back walks, setting up Christian Franklin, and this is another rip. Kerstad, good bow! A no-doubter from the native Texan. It's kept going. Kerstad, more on the line, and it's 6-0. No, really. I, I never liked the ones that were wall scrapers. Good play off the mound by Patrick Wickland. Bats. Zubia down looking. Two strikeouts looking for Wickland. Right here to have a little comeback inning right here. Well hit. This should get down. Extra bases as well as Fletcher comes up with his second double of the night. Walk number three, and that one was not close. Some heavy minutes behind the plate. And there it is, four pitch walk, pitching around Kenley, the low first season back from Tommy John surgery. And that is planted to center field. One run scores. Here's number two. And that is a two run double off the bat of Jacob Nesbitt. The damage continues. One of the highest scoring teams in America. And this one is poked, and it's in front of Austin Todd. One run scores, throw to the plate. Two more. Arkansas with the early 10 spot here in Austin. His surgery tomorrow on his shoulder, which will eliminate him. Ezel is off the throw. Not in time from Cassidy. Not in, not in March. That's RPI and up to strength the schedule and the selection committee. So it's a ground out by Opitz. 
seeds, those top 16 seeds. And Another run is going to score as that skirts away from Peter. 11-0 Arkansas. 2-2 two, two to Goodhart. Ford cannot get there. And it's the second base hit for Matt Goodhart tonight. To Hibbler. Backhand and gather. It will not be in time. Shaw collects it. And his first and third. It's back in the third. To Reynolds. Has plenty of time to make the play and does. But it's three straight innings with runs on the board for Arkansas. They're up 11 0. Pitching was outstanding in that series sweep against Missouri. Todd to center field and it drops. As Kenley got way out there. Second base hit tonight for the Longhorns. Well hit by Kennedy. Fletcher is going back and will make the catch. Todd retreating to first base. Talk about well put together. Zubia going to the gap. It's down. Todd will be held up. And that is a much needed extra base hit for the Longhorns. Poked, but straight to Kinley. Two outs. Smooth selling for him, tries to get out of it. And that gets past Diesel. Two runs will score. The Tater delivers with two outs. Position that, uh... Peter! Booyah! Unloads! Goodbye, baseball! Defensively, doesn't matter what position you're playing. Hibbler with the backhand. Good speed. Shaw is off the base, though. A sack throw from Hibbler. Took him Arkansas off. going to Cole Ramage in place of Patrick Wicklander. Eighth appearance of the season. Three walks, 13 strikeouts. The bat well. So you just keep doing what you've been doing. Tough play for Martin on the run. What a hose from shortstop. That type of thing, but usually you're moving into the leadoff spot. For Ezel goes down, stays on the base though. Even the time <laughs> was about 10 years ago. Todd down on strikes. Ramage looking good out of the pin. Got a good night. Down on strikes. Opitz makes the tag and. Wrapped up his high school career at IMG in Florida. Another outstanding play from Casey Martin. Momentum taking him all the way down. Vermillion now in for the Razorbacks. Prairie Village, Kansas. Eighth appearance of the season. On the bottom of the lineup as well. And everybody went down with the same results. But there's Hibbler breaking through. First base hit for Mason Hibbler tonight. Take on Alabama. Kennedy down looking. To center. Fletcher hustling in. Does his work early. And two left on. We go to the ninth. Arkansas leads 11 4. And that's it. Arkansas has won its fourth straight against Texas since the start of last season. Razorbacks taking this 11 to 4. 11 spot including the Grand Slam by Christian Franklin, solo shot by Heston Kerstad, solid pitching out of the bullpen as well.